Hi friends, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farm. Here's a quick video on how to pollinate an amaryllis flower so that it produces seed pods that you can later plant and grow more amaryllis from seed. So what we're looking for is the stigma. This is the female portion of the flower. The male portion are the pollen anthers. And when the stigma opens, it starts out closed looking like this, and then it gradually opens into three pieces. This is when we wanna go ahead and pollinate our amaryllis. So we just grab a pollen anther, you can also use a paintbrush for this if you prefer, but I just like to grab a pollen anther right off the plant. And then we're gonna rub the pollen all over the stigma. So that's all there is to it, and after a few days, the seed pod will start to develop right here. You'll see it start to swell, and I'll share an update video with you once that happens. So it's been approximately six to seven weeks since we pollinated that amaryllis, and you can see that it formed three beautiful seed pods for us. And the more often you can go ahead and pollinate the stigma, the better. I tried to pollinate this one three times total, day one, day two, and day three, and then you just really let it do its thing. And in about six weeks, you'll have these beautiful seed pods. These ones right here aren't quite ready for harvest yet, but yesterday the flower, here it is, fell off this one, the pod cracked, and it's pretty much starting to dry up. So we can go ahead and harvest this seed now. So all I'm gonna do is just take it right off the plant with my scissors. And now I'll just go ahead and take the seed out and let it dry on a paper plate for about two days here in my home, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We got a lot of beautiful seed from this one. And those other pods that you saw still on the plant will probably be ready in just a few days. So there we have it. I would say we have between maybe 30 and 40 seeds here. So what a great and economical way to propagate an amaryllis. So just to reiterate this entire process, when the stigma is still closed and coming to a point, it's too early to pollinate the amaryllis. Wait until the stigma has separated into three distinct sections. At that point, you pull off a pollen anther, rub it all over the stigma. And if you can do that for the following two or three days, even better, so you really have as much pollen on the stigma as possible. Then in about six weeks, you'll have these beautiful seed pods. They start out small and shiny and they gradually swell and get bigger and bigger and dry out until we get to the point where we were at today, where the seed pod cracks open, starts to dry on the plant, and that's when you can go ahead and harvest all this beautiful seed and go ahead and allow it to dry for about two days in a room temperature location before planting. Now I'll show you how to plant these seeds in an upcoming video, but for now, I wanna wish you a wonderful day and happy gardening. Bye.